Yo, it's me again. And I haven't made a video in a while because, you know, I just haven't thought of anything to make videos of, you know. But right now I'm going to talk about, well, I guess what, another Malaysia airline was sh uh, shot down. It was shot down near the Ukraine Russia border. I don't remember the name of the, the airliner, but I think it was M817, I believe. I don't know, I'm not, I think that's it. But I just seen a video by this user on YouTube called Still Speaking Out. He used to be undercover alien, so check out his video if you want. It'll probably inform you a lot better than me. I really don't know. I don't know much about it. But I'll tell you this. What a coincidence that. Oh, no, it's not a coincidence, so I'll take that back. When things like this happen, usually it's always, like, doing some very serious thing, you know, like... Because of right now, there's a... Attack in Gaza. Or Israel is attacking Gaza. The Gaza refused to, uh, cease fire, or whatever the fuck it was. And... Well... In the pictures of these dead children, or half dead children, all these, the pictures are pretty gruesome looking, you know. As a result of Israel's attacks against Gaza, these children are in very serious uh, conditions. They might die, which I'm happy they will because. They either be in misery no more from the pain they're obviously probably going through right now. You know? See, my last video I talked about Israel being, uh, you know, they're the enemy, you know, and. Oh, what was my video? I don't, yeah, I was just talking about Israel, I believe. In my last video. Should I go check right now? Hold on. Yeah, that was a video. I think, no, <laughs> this whole uh, plane being shot down over Ukraine and Russia's border is pretty much a distraction from uh, trying to remember what I was going to say it's pretty much a distraction from the old Israel shooting at Gaza you know Because, yeah, why he was my yeah why he was the enemy in it, and Alex Jones is an scientist. That's the video. Yeah, I just remember that. Took a while for me to get my video man to pay. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, I just had to check that. Back to the main topic here. Basically, this whole. Malaysia airline plane M817 that just got shot down is a false flag. It happened just to distract everyone from Gaza. Because you know people would be distracted from Gaza then, you know, a bunch of Palestinian kids getting killed by a fuck ton of Israel missiles. Because Israel, a uh, bunch of fucking murderers, you know, a bunch of bloodthirsty fucking cocksuckers that have no fucking mercy for anyone. And I'm like, the hell of Israel, you know, they can go fucking blow themselves up with their own sh fucking missiles for I care. They can eat shit and die, you know. 
So yeah, in short, false flag. This is fighting from the Gaza attacks. You know, from Israel, the bloodthirsty in the state of, uh, you know, you know, whatever the fuck they are, I don't care. Yeah, and Israel, in short, they are a major influence in the U.S. government foreign policy, you know. They're the ones that basically set the policy for our foreign affairs, you know, how the U.S. government handles things happening in foreign countries. Yeah, and the fact that they're a bunch of psychos that killed a bunch of innocent people in Gaza, you know, I even seen a picture of a fucking, a little girl with a guts hanging out, you know, like, intestines, like, you know, that was just horrible. If that isn't proof that these Israel people are bloodthirsty murderers, I don't know what will. Two things they need to go in this fucking country. It's Israel and the U.S. government. And... Oh, uh, and let me add a third one, uh, the Federal Reserve as well, because they're the reason why this whole fucking country's in debt. So, yeah, those three things being gone would really improve this whole world, trust me, in this country even. You know, because the New World Order is fucking coming, you know. Yeah, New World Order. It's... it's a conspiracy theory, yeah, it's said to be one, but it's real, it's not a conspiracy theory. A bunch of corporate entities along with the US government and Israel, you know, just all kinds of different scenarios for the New World Order, but pretty much the outcome of the New World Order is going to be where the US government takes over the whole world and establishes a one world government, and it is, and you know, that's kind of the reason why they want the guns, you know, I say this all the time. They want the guns so they can rule the earth unopposed, and that's why they want to kill 80% of the human population. Because that's, this is how it's going to work. If, if that's not going to happen, they won't be able to rule the earth. So we, we all have voices, we just speak out against this bullshit, you know, and... Don't ever think that what you do isn't going to change anything or make a fucking difference, because it will. You know, everything people do on Earth has an influence, has an effect on something. So, imagine what that would be. You know, I mean, let me rephrase that. Imagine what would happen if we all went and stood together and fought for something, you know, we spoke out against something as a group, you know, a, a billion people, things would definitely improve, you know, if you have a voice, use it. Yeah, I know this video's kind of going on very long, I apologize, because I kind of talk, I kind of ramble on these videos, I'm sorry for rambling on. So I'll just end the video by saying this. Be very wary, I know it sounds like a fog and a dead horse here, but yeah, be very wary, be very wary of media, you know, it's controlled by government, U.S. government, and don't get roped in this whole, oh, it's, uh, you know, this sort of looking for, don't get divided and conquered by anything, your political beliefs, your religious beliefs, your sexuality, beliefs, you know, anything like that, or whatever, sexuality, beliefs, what the fuck I'm talking about. Basically, let's not get divided by anything, like political differences. That's how they control people. They divide them with their own different views, and they conquer them that way. So don't let them do that. Don't, don't get divided and conquered. It's not, uh, we, are, we're not, we, it's us versus them, not the other way around. We're not, we shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting the people that are making this planet hell to live on. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. I haven't made it in a while. I know it's pretty long, but we can, as I said <clears throat> all the time, you can sit through this and listen. Uh, that'd be uh, appreciative. <clears throat> but you don't have to if you don't feel like it, but if you do, I appreciate it. And. 
Okay, I'm going to end the video here. So, uh, see you next time, I guess. Bye.